Welcome back, future lawyers. This is Pinay Jurist. In this video, we will review the Torrent system of registration in the Philippines. We will discuss principles and jurisprudence on the indivisibility of the Torrent's title, the Mirror Doctrine, and direct proceeding versus collateral attack. Let's get started. The Original Land Registration Act, or Act No. 496, established the Torrent System of Registration in the Philippines. Under Act No. 496, the Court of Land Registration shall have the exclusive jurisdiction of all applications for the registration of title to land or buildings or an interest therein. When the court, upon termination of the proceedings, finds that the applicant has title as stated in his or her application and proper for registration, the court shall enter a decree confirming the title of the applicant and ordering the registration of the same. The Torrent system of land registration is not a mode of acquiring title, but merely a system of registration of titles to lands. The real purpose of the Torrent system is to quiet title to land and to put a stop forever to any questions as to the legality of the title, except claims that were noted in the certificate at the time of the registration or that may arise subsequent thereto. A Torrent's title is indefeasible in that it could not be assailed collaterally and cannot be altered, modified, or cancelled except in a direct proceeding in accordance with law. In addition, ownership supported by a certificate of title can neither be defeated by adverse, open, and notorious possession nor prescription. Prescription and latches do not apply to registered land covered by the Torrent system. The Mirror Doctrine Only an innocent purchaser for value may invoke the Mirror Doctrine. The Mirror Doctrine provides that every person dealing with registered land may safely rely on the correctness of the certificate of title issued therefore and is in no way obliged to go beyond the certificate to determine the condition of the property. Every registered owner and every subsequent purchaser for value in good faith holds the title to the property free from all encumbrances except those noted in the certificate. Good faith must concur with registration, otherwise registration would be an exercise in futility. A torrent's title does not furnish a shield for fraud, notwithstanding the long-standing rule that registration is a constructive notice of title binding upon the whole world. The legal principle is that if the registration of the land is fraudulent, the person in whose name the land is registered holds it as a mere trustee. Registering a piece of land under the Torrent system does not create or vest title because registration is not a mode of acquiring ownership. A certificate of title is merely an evidence of ownership or title over the particular property described therein. The indefeasibility of the Torrent's title should not be used as a means to perpetrate fraud against the rightful owner of real property. The sanctity of the Torrent system must be preserved. Otherwise, everyone dealing with the property registered under the system will have to inquire in every instance on whether the title had been regularly or irregularly issued Contrary to the evident purpose of the law, every person dealing with the registered land may safely rely on the correctness of the certificate of title issued therefore, and the law will in no way oblige him to go behind the certificate to determine the condition of the property. The registration under the Torrent system does not give the owner any better title than he had. If he does not already have a perfect title, he cannot have it registered. 
The certificate, in the absence of fraud, is the evidence of title and shows exactly the real interest of its owner. The title, once registered, with very few exceptions, should not thereafter be impugned, altered, changed, modified, enlarged, or diminished except in some direct proceeding permitted by law. Otherwise, all security in registered titles would be lost. A registered title cannot be altered, modified, enlarged, or diminished in a collateral proceeding and not even by a direct proceeding after the lapse of a period prescribed by law. Land registration proceedings are proceedings in REM, not in personam, and therefore it is not necessary to give personal notice to the owners or claimants of the land or lands sought to be registered, to give the court's jurisdiction or authority to pass upon the questions arising from the action whereby said right is exercised. Section 48 of Presidential Decree Number 1529 provides Certificate not subject to collateral attack. A certificate of title shall not be subject to collateral attack. It cannot be altered, modified, or cancelled except in a direct proceeding in accordance with law. It is a well settled rule that a torrent's title could not be collaterally attacked that the issue of whether or not the title was fraudulently issued could only be raised in an action expressly instituted for that purpose and an action for reconveyance or recovery of possession was not a direct action contemplated by law. When the court says direct attack, it means that the object of an action is to annul or set aside such judgment or enjoin its enforcement. On the other hand, the attack is indirect or collateral when in an action to obtain a different relief, an attack on the judgment or proceeding is nevertheless made as an incident thereof. And we're done and I hope you learned a few things of, on the subject matter in this video. Thank you for watching.